Okay, I'd like to call this meeting to order. Will the secretary please call the roll? Mrs. Becker. Here. Mr. Cummings. Here. Ms. Gwass. Mrs. Herrick. Here. Mr. Hong. Mrs. Reese. Here. And President Lax. Here. We have a quorum. Please rise to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's see if I can see the fine print. The New Jersey public, Open Public Meetings Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting their interests is discussed and acted upon. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the East Brunswick Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be published by having the date, time, and place thereof posted at the Board of Education offices. Written notice was also provided to the Sentinel, the Newark Star-Ledger, the Home News Tribune, the Alternative Press of East Brunswick, and the Municipal Clerk of East Brunswick. All Board of Education meetings, with the exception of executive session discussions, are videotaped for later broadcast. It is the policy of the Board of Education that videotaped meetings are not edited for any purpose. Individuals who speak at the Board's public meetings should be aware of these videotaping rules. Good evening. Um, now we're at the good of the cause for the public. The Board of Education recognizes the value of public comment on educational issues and the importance of allowing members of the public to express themselves on school matters of community interest. To protect the privacy of all students and staff, concerns regarding individual students and staff members should generally be addressed by first meeting with the appropriate administrative staff. We have a special visitor this evening, so I know I'm a little strange. So I'm going to invite you to come up and state your name, and you can tell them where you go to school for the record. Hi, good evening board. Uh, my name is Arian Rayana and I'm a 11th grader at East Bunduk High School. So um, I stand before you today uh, to present my proposal for a new club for EBHS. Um, before I begin, I would like to thank each and every one of you for everything you guys do for East Bunduk schools. I would also like to thank uh, Ms. Lax for allowing me to come here today and present this proposal. I really do appreciate the opportunity and understand that all of your time is valuable. So the club I wish to bring to EBHS is called Politics for Teens. I first noticed it on social media and decided to research it extensively. What I found was an opportunity to open a chapter at in East, in East Brunswick. Now you may be asking, what is this club about? Well, their mission is, and I quote, to promote the education of different political topics in high school campuses in order to increase awareness and discourse about different perspectives. Now, I went ahead and did the process of opening this chapter, and what I found is that there is a full interactive curriculum already established for different political topics and opportunities for students to speak up regarding these topics through interactive games and events that proved to be a success. So much of a success that this organization has boasts over 15,000 members and over 150 chapters nationwide. I understand that the board uh, wants to see an overwhelming display of interest for the club, but seeing that there is an average of over 100 members per, per chapter in the nation for every high school, I'd say the demand speaks for itself. Now, Mayor Cohen, uh, when I met him, discussed with me how youth voting and civic engagement as it is at an all-time low, uh, which leads to no choice uh, but to support the causes of older generations to, in order to preserve their vote. This could be a step to changing that, however, by fostering political discourse in a nonpartisan manner, um, backed by a massive organization um, uh, that simply needs implementation uh, is a perfect first step towards that goal, the goal of increasing youth civic engagement. Now, I also, also know a big concern for East Bunzer clubs is that they run for a few years and then they falter after a year or two. Um, which, but with the established procedures that work in every single chapter, along with the method for uh, current executive uh, uh, board members to train future executive board members, um, along uh, along with various other things that the uh, organiz organization specifically dictates, um, this club will specifically be designed not to fail but to thrive. I understand that there's also budgeting concerns nowadays, um, but I am happy to say that there is a, a, as little as two thirty to seconds, as little as a two to three meetings per month to keep the club on pace with the curriculum, 
yet still manageable and affordable in regards to EBEA advisor compensation. I truly believe that the effort and trust that I hope you guys will put into me by approving this club will reflect positively for EB schools by compensating for your investments with youth engagement and fostering. Now, if the board want, wishes for more information, the website for the organization is called politicsforteens.com. And with that, thank you so much once again for the opportunity to speak. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arian. Is there anyone else who wishes to speak to the board? Okay, I'm gonna close the public portion. Um, and you're gonna see this young man again because I had the pleasure of meeting him at the ULI IPO um, program, which his team won. So you know I always love to invite back my, my winner. So um, this, this gentleman, uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of you. Um, and for the board actually, um, we're gonna close this in a moment. If everybody wants, you can actually say a quick hello and we're gonna get you um, your, your information to Janet to be distributed to the board or to Karen. Sorry, I'm staring at both of them. So, um, But before we do that, I'm going to ask for a motion for the one item on financial services this evening. Moved by Mrs. Becker, second. second by Mr. Cummings. Is there any discussion? Will the secretary please call the roll? Mrs. Becker? Yes. Mr. Cummings? Yes. Ms. Gloss? Yes. Mrs. Herrick? Yes. Mrs. Reese? Yes. And President Lax? Yes, motion carries. Do we have anything for community reports and information items and for the good of the cause for the board? Okay. Then I am going to ask for a motion, whereas the Board of Education must discuss matters which are not appropriate for discussion at a public meeting, and these subjects are within the exceptions to the Open Public Meetings Act and are permitted to be discussed in closed session. The Board of Education intends to discuss matters as follows, those items listed on tonight's agenda. The length of closed session is estimated to be three hours, aren't you jealous, after which the public meeting of the board shall reconvene and action will not be taken. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education will recess into closed session for only the aforesaid subject, and be it further resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education hereby declares that its discussion of the aforesaid subject will be made public at a time when the public's interest in disclosure is greater than any privacy or governmental interest being protected from disclosure in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act. Moved by Mrs. Becker and second by Mr. Cummings. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Thank you and good night. Thank Come you. On up. Thank you. Come on up.